on YouTube, you see a bunch of tutorials on the origami lily. Me myself did one too, but have you ever seen one on this origami buds? I'm going to show you how to make this, so when you add it to your bouquet of origami lily, it would look more realistic. Since Mother's Day is coming next month, you can make this as a simple gesture of your love. Think of it this way, they will forever bloom. Alrighty, let's get to it, let's get to it. I'm starting out using a color printing paper. I need a perfect square so I fold one side of the paper to the opposite. And remove the excess paper. If you guys ever make the origami lily, this is super similar to it. Actually, there's only one step different and you will see it at the end. At this point, you should be able to open one of the pouch and flatten it. Turn it over and do the same to the opposite side. And at this point, you should end it up with four flops. You should be able to open up the pouch in each flop. Be sure the center line crease lines up properly. Pull one side of the paper to the center and do the same to the opposite side. Open the folds and use the crease line as a guide to fold the following steps. You want to go ahead and tuck in the both sides first following the crease line. Now gently pinch both sides of the paper to the center line crease. Voila! That's not too bad, right? Go ahead and move the paper around and then move on to the next flop. Apply the same method to the following three flops. These steps are the hardest part in making the origami lily, so let's watch it one more time. First you open the flows and then you inverse fold the existing crease line. Okay, now start the pinching process to the center line crease. See, that's pretty easy, huh? Go ahead and finish doing the rest of the two. And you should end up with something like this. You should notice that some side of the paper is really smooth and some of them has these little diamond shape. That's the side we're going to be working on. Go ahead and make the fold to the center. Remember to fold the side where the center diamond shapes are pointing. Go ahead and repeat the same process to the rest of the three sides that has the diamond shape in the center. So when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Take a very thin object, like the center core of a pen, or you can use a toothpick and start rolling the petals. I always think rolling the petal is the fun part, so just take your time and start curling it into like a little flower petals. There's only one tiny step different compared to the original origami lily, but just because the tiny different, it creates a brand new flower. If you're interested in making the paper stems and leaf, please check the info box. I will provide the links. As for this flower, I actually use a dried up rose stems and leaves. If you like everything to made of paper, this would be the way to go. But if you prefer a bit more organic touch, you can always use dehydrated flower materials like what I'm doing there. I actually really like this look, and the center dry flower right there is baby breath. Oh yeah, be sure to make the flower buds smaller than the original lily so that it look more realistic. 
Hope to see you next week. May you be happy.